Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. This said Prince, I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to talk about very hot, interesting topic that is chain test report. This is going to be the successor of extend report. Yes, you have heard it right that chain test is all set to replace extend report because extend report is getting sunset. Same is communicated by the developer of extend report. So without further delay, let us try to understand what is chain test report. So as part of current lecture, we will try to understand how to transition from extend report to chain test report. So what is extend report? This is one of the most widely used report type and is most widely adopted by most of the organizations, right? So this is the deprecation note by developer extend report is being sunset and will be released in the chain test framework will be replaced by the chain test framework right so i asked him the reason uh, like what is the reason that you are deprecating extend report so this is the reason that i haven't been able to maintain it and scaling it out for the additional languages was a monumental task right so this is the reason that he is moving to chain test reporting right so now let us discuss about what are the supported test frameworks so as of now mostly the java based unit testing frameworks are supported junit 5 cucumber jvm and test ng for pytest it is in progress and as it is active development so we may expect other frameworks support as well right so let us discuss about chain test report components okay so what is chain test it is a comprehensive reporting framework supporting multiple generators so in extent report we have reporters here we are calling it as generators so we have three type of generators static or simple emailable and then we have a uh, chain LP. Chain LP is for the purpose of real time and historical analytics, right? So these are the three generators simple, email, and chain LP. As part of current lecture, we will try to understand simple and email. And in the next lecture, we will try to understand chain LP, right? So now, what is chain test generator? It is responsible for creating output files based on test, test results and configuration set settings. So as we execute the test cases, so we will have test results. Then we have one configuration file in case of chain test report, which is chain test dot properties. This is similar to extend dot properties in case of extend properties, right? So based on these two inputs, it will generate some output file and it will process the template save necessary sources such as screenshots if there is a failure right and generate reports in the specified format and this format will also be specified in chain test dot properties right so we will soon try to understand how to set it up right now how to enable it so the first step is we need to add chain test dot properties in src test resources section and then we need to uh, enable different generators so we can enable different generators like simple email and chain lp and we need to add their respective properties right so these are the different generators so this is similar to extend dot properties so this is how we are going to add so this is chain lp configuration this is simple configuration and this is email configuration right now let us getting started with bdd cucumber so as part of current lecture we will try to understand how to generate this chain, te chain test report in bdd cucumber right so before that, I would like to explain my framework at high level. So this is my Cucumber framework, which is built on top of Maven. And we have SRC test section. And in SRC test section, we have resources where we have written the feature files. So these are the feature files. And this is the test case that I'm going, going to consider for the current discussion. Then we have SRC test Java, where we have written the step devs. And we have UI step dev. And then we have base step dev where I have written the uh, hooks. So in before hook, I'm initializing the driver, which is uh, abstracted, which is abstracted by the factory design pattern. So that is out of scope. We are not discussing. So only purpose is we are getting the driver, right? And here we are uh, quitting the driver, right? And we are taking the screenshot as well for the failure purpose. And then we have uh, runner section as well so ui runner and ui test runner so we are using cucumber with the test ng here we are providing the feature files right so this is the feature file location this is glue location where the step definitions are this is the tag right so now let us get started with our discussion right so to set up chain test report right so first of all we need to add this particular dependency right so it is having version 1.0.3 initially it was 1.0.1 I worked in collaboration with the Anshu, developer of extend report and chain test report. And we fixed few issues related to screenshot and path 
and now it become 1.0.3 so this is what we are going to use okay so let me go to the notepad and pick this particular dependency and now let us add it into the pom.xml okay so this is dependency section i'll reload it right and then after what is the next step right so we'll discuss about this particular dependency whether it is needed or not right so now we need to configure chain test plugin right so i'll be going to this particular ui test tunnel right and what i'll do is i'll make a copy of it because i don't want to disturb the existing flow and we'll make it as chain test right and let us make it chain test okay in case you want to understand more on cucumber i have already created a series and i have integrated extent report as well in case you are interested in extent report right now we have got this particular runner right so only thing we are going to make changes is we are going to replace this particular extent plugin with the chain test plugin right so that also i have copied so let me pick it right and this will be available once you add the dependency right now we are going to execute this particular test case so this particular test case is launching one sample application which is source demo will be entering the credentials will be clicking on login and then adding the uh, item and navigating to the cart and verify source lab backpack right now what is the next step next step is enabling generators so let us first enable the simple generator right so for that purpose what we need to do we need to add chain test dot properties under src test resources so i'll be going here and under resources section i'll be adding chain test dot properties file dot properties right so we have added this right now we are going to add a simple reporter right simple generator so this is some generic configuration right we will explore more on this right let me add it right so here uh, this is generator detail this is the project name what you can give this is related to storage whether we want to enable it if we want to store reports on azure blob or aws s3 so we can provide that service it could be azure blob and aws s3 so i'm yet to explore on this but we are now going to talk about the simple one where the report will be generated locally right so for simple this is the section right let me copy it let me copy it and put it here right so this is chain test dot generator dot simple so this is simple generator and we are going to enable it and this is going to be the title on the report uh, title meaning when the report will be generated that is a web page so it will have one title and this is the class it is invoking for simple generator and this is where it is generating the report right so we can name it also so maybe trains automation automation destination dot html right whether we want to generate it for our offline this is similar to uh, the extent report there also we have offline feature right and this is whether we want to have a dark theme or uh, like light theme right and it is true so we'll get the dark theme right so this is the date format right and this is some additional parameter for the configuration purpose right i'm yet to explore on this right so we'll soon create another video right after having discussion with developer of uh, this uh, chain test report okay now let us try to execute this particular test case and see whether we are getting some error or not right so i was expecting this error so if you are also encountering this particular error in that case what you need to do i have already noted it down then we need to add this particular dependency right so this dependency also i have noted it down right so i'm going to add it into the pom.xml right now I'm going to pom.xml and let me add this particular dependency, right? And let me reload Maven, right? And what I will do, I'll meanwhile delete target folder for the clean compilation and clean execution. And now let me execute this particular test case and see how we are getting the report. So it has launched the application it is logging in and as a result we are getting the uh, 
uh, report right so let us take a look at target before that i want to show you from chain test dot properties where we are generating the report so we are generating under target chain test and prince automation destination right so chain test and this is prince automation destination and this is the resources which it will generate right now let me open it so you see this is the report so this is the view of this particular chain test report so we can filter it pass skipped failed and we can clear the filters right and also we can toggle the summary if we will toggle it we will see like this right so these are the different options right this is feature level detail how many features are executed and how many scenarios are executed how many steps are executed right so this is how we can view it right so this is a simple generator right similarly what we can do is we can configure the email uh, generator right so for that purpose what i'll do simply i'll simply copy this section and put it into chain test report so we can generate the email report as well now let me run it once again So for email the generator is going to be email and the class name will also differ so we don't need to worry about this this and all is provided by the uh, library itself and this is the class that we are going to point right so now we got email.html as well right so if i'll open this and let us see the view of email report so this is this looks more of a email format that's why this is emailable format right so if needed we can share it with different stakeholders right so this gives a compact format of report right now this is a dark right similarly we can change the theme right if we want to change the theme so we'll simply make it as false and we will get the light theme right so this is how we can generate the report right now what if uh, so this is first review uh, first view this is second view that we discussed and this is email report that we discussed now let us discuss about how it will capture the screenshot so capturing screenshot is having no impact it will work as it is right so let me show you so this is the logic that i have written in after block if scenario is getting failed then we were taking screenshot and with the help of scenario which is uh, class in cucumber right so we'll be attaching the screenshot so this is the screenshot that we have captured on failure and then after we are attaching it right so for that purpose what i will do is i'll go to this particular test case and i'll intentionally make it as false okay and let us execute this test case once again and see how it will behave So we got the failure and now let us see the report right so we see the report and this is the screenshot for failure so this is how we can capture the screenshot as well so this is what i wanted to cover guys as part of current lecture in the next lecture we will try to understand chain lp generator which is the most interesting type of generator because it gives real-time analytics and maintain the history as well so thank you for watching. I would request you to please like, share and subscribe. Thank you once again.